Encountering the 0xC00007B application error on Windows? I'll share a 100% fix for this issue, applicable to any games or apps. Stay tuned for a quick solution to keep your applications running smoothly. Open Settings. Select Windows Update. Click on Check for Updates, and if there is a new update, wait for it to download and install. Type CMD into the search bar, click it with the right mouse button, and choose Run as Administrator. Enter the command by typing it in, and hit Enter. And watch for the update to download and install, if there is one. The commands are listed in the description. Await the PC's scan and repair should an issue arise. My PC was also having issues. It indicates that the issue has been resolved and provides the report file's location. Next, download the .NET Framework version that is advised from the Microsoft website if it's not installed. Launch the installer and setup. I've already installed it. Click Continue if it's not installed yet. Open the control panel by going back to the Start menu. Click Turn Windows Features On or Off after selecting Programs and Features. Click OK after checking every file that begins with .NET Framework. The first time you click it, if it is not checked, a brief install will take place. Next, get the Microsoft website's Visual C++ 2015, 2022 package, download the x64 and x86 versions, even if your machine is 64-bit. Install and run the setup files. Click Repair if it's already installed. By following these procedures, you can access the damaged or absent files and resolve your issue. The first thing you must do is identify the DLL file that is causing the error. To fix your own issue, download Microsoft's Process Monitor tool and adhere to the instructions I'll outline below. The link is located in the description. Make a folder, then transfer the RAR file inside of it. Extract the files with a right click. It will appear as Extract here on your end. Run Procman after that. To stop the reporting process, click File and choose Capture Events Disabled first. To remove every report, click Clear after that. Select the process name by clicking on the filter. Enter the application's exe file name that appears in the error notice, then select Add. Next. Next, select OK and Apply. To begin the reporting process, click File once more and then select Capture Events. Launch the program where the mistake is occurring. Also listed is the applicant's report. Once more, close Capture Events. By looking at the name not found in the results column, let's attempt to identify the problematic DLL file. To accomplish this, highlight any name not found by performing a right-click. Examine the DLL files indicated by the colored lines
by slightly expanding the path section. It does not follow that every DLL file you encounter is corrupt. Take note of the DLL file that you have seen numerous times here. It's the jinput1 underscore 3, DLL for me. Although there are other DLL files, we can presume that jinput1 underscore 3, DLL is the cause of the error because there are excessively numerous of them. How can we locate this file within the Windows folder then? The many locations of the file in the previous part are visible when you look closely at the colored lines. We must search for files in syswow64 or system32. It might not have been evident to you in the previous section though. To do this, right click and choose properties from the DLL file that we're going to pretend is faulty. Click the process section to open it. Next to architecture, 64-bit is indicated. The 64-bit file was in the 32-bit folder, which is why you received the issue, if the 64-bit folder included the 32-bit file. In this case, we may deduce that the faulty file is located in the system32 subdirectory, because we can see that its architecture is 64-bit. We must access the drive that has Windows installed. Open the Windows folder after that. Locate the System32 folder and open it. Next, locate the DLL file that you have identified as malfunctioning and remove it. The DLL version that we erased must now be found. Let's examine which package I require. The video's description part contains information on which DLL file belongs in which package. Use Ctrl plus F to bring up the search bar. After entering the DLL name, select Find Next. I notice that there is a DirectX End User Runtimes package that contains the DLL file I need to download. Download the package by clicking the link. This is the DirectX Offline Installation package. I start by extracting the contents to a desktop folder that I made. I then install it by running DX Setup. This installation method fills in the gaps in the files on your computer without affecting other files. Actually, I made a desktop backup of the appropriate DLL. However, I'm repairing the problem with the package's setup, so you can test it out. The installation is complete. Let's see if System32 is loading the correct version of the DLL file that we removed. The DLL file has loaded. Let's attempt to launch the Epic Games Launcher once more. As you can see, your issue will also be resolved if you remove the incorrectly copied DLL file and install the package using the proper file. However, contrary to what some sources say, do not look for and download these DLL files from other websites or copy them to the application's location where the error occurred. Even if the program for which you are receiving the problem is fixed by these fixes, in the future, you might continue to receive the same problem when using other apps or games. The safest and most efficient method is to install the required Microsoft packages in order to obtain the missing files. The section with the description contains the pertinent Microsoft links. Scrolling below will allow you to locate the Visual C++ package for the years 2015 through 2022. Additionally, download the X64 and x86 versions of any package you choose to download, even if your system is 64-bit. Choose the repair option if the downloaded item is already installed. With a simple scroll down from the same page, you may also access older packages. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.